like it. Uh, I can help. The last comment she said his grandpa lived to be 106. I could feel the energy in the room when he said that. You guys are like, I don't want to live that long. <laughs> Nobody, everybody here is like, 99 is good for me. Uh, so I'm just trying to be more likable. Is it working? <laughs> I look like a divorce attorney that would fuck your soon-to-be ex-husband. <laughs> I have a likability problem. It's more of a vibe than a look at this point. <laughs> Anybody married, I'll fuck you right out of your marriage. <laughs> looks like there's some conservative couples in here. It can't be going well for you guys. So. No, no. Sometimes this room gets really like conservative, so I'm just trying to get that out of the way up top, because I'm going to talk about some weird shit tonight. <laughs> but you guys seem into that. The conservatives, I mean, come on. No? Okay. Yes? Bring it? Alright. Wow. Any stressed out men in the audience? Uh, yeah? yeah? Well, that was, we, that was a weird feeling. Like, uh, yeah. Are you okay? Who said that? Who said that? Raise your hand. Oh, don't be shy. Be vulnerable. Be a vulnerable man. It, it, it was me. It was you. What are you stressed out about? <laughs> what language is that? Emotions. They literally don't know what to say. Uh, you don't want to say what you're stressed oh, about? The, the world, dude. The world. I love it. Men are so worried about the world. Like women are like, yeah, it's been this way for a while. I don't know. <laughs> men are like, I don't know my life. It's hard. I ask yeah. if men are like stressed out. I ask that question all the time because men who are stressed out tend to like women with bigger butts. <laughs> Scientific fact. Yeah, every guy in the room now is like, I'm stressed as fuck, bro. <laughs> Problems. Every man who's ever dated a Kardashian, most stressed out man in America. <laughs> they also say that men who are hungry prefer women with bigger tits. Where are they doing this research, you guys? I just saw so many couples looking at each other like, did you know about this? Did you know about this? You should have bigger tits. I'm starving. Uh, it's crazy. I'm more of a titty girl on myself, but I just don't, I don't know where they're doing this research. Are they just going to McDonald's on a Tuesday and they're like, sir, sir, in line, Big Mac or Big Rack? Which one is it going to be today? I like some McDonald's crap. Portland's weird. They're like, we don't do McDonald's. We're vegan. <laughs> Not this room. You guys eat good meat. Yeah? No? I'm a titty girl. Like, I need a little meat in my life. I have huge tits. We'll get to that later. Uh, we always do. Uh, whether I want to or not. Uh, I'm just looking for a malnourished king at this point. <laughs> anybody in here have an eating disorder? I will. <laughs> I need you in my life. Uh, anybody seen Pete Davidson? He looks hungry. Uh, now that Doug Kim's done with him, I've got a titty to feed him that's real. <laughs> Fake-ass body. I love that. So good. You guys are so wholesome here. It's really nice. Uh, I do have huge tits, though. I actually, they used to be bigger, believe it or not. I'm kind of covered up tonight, but I was a, I had a breast reduction like five years ago. Yeah, thanks for not booing. I thought for sure the guy who thinks the world is ending would be like, no, boo, that's horrible. I was right, the world is ending. Women are cutting off their tits. Uh, I was a 34 double G before the surgery. Yeah, whoa, yeah, guys in the room didn't even know the alphabet went. For like A, B, C, D. How do you get to G? What is that? Where do they sell that? Uh, yeah, most guys are like, we got a D here and a D here, we're good to go. <laughs> is this a titty with tits? Clap if you like tits. Clap if you like ass. No, okay, that was weird. There was one guy really aggressively clapping for butt stuff. And was... <laughs> you, that was good effort, dude. Like, good luck with that. You must be really stressed out. <laughs> he was really quiet when I asked, and now he's aggressive. Uh, yeah, I was a 34 double G before the surgery. Now I'm a 34 like double D. Is that cool? Like, this is a huge. There's a lot of titty meat still. Like they took a pound and a half off of each side. My surgeon. Wow. Yeah, my surgery was 11 hours, wow. and my surgeon fell and broke two ribs during the surgery. <laughs> and she's flat chested, so I'm like, what are you doing? Like, your back shouldn't hurt. What's going on? <laughs> Nobody's supportive of plastic surgery. Like, nobody's supportive of breast reductions, which is crazy to me because it has the highest satisfactory rate of any breast reduction. You know this, sir. I had one. This is what I love because women have been having 
them and never talking about them. And then I had one, and I couldn't find anything about the on the internet about it. And then I start telling this fucking joke, and everyone comes up to me afterwards, and they're like, "Somebody in my family's had him." Thank you so much for sitting in the front row. You're my hero. When she was 65. Wow. She probably really needed a lift by then too. <laughs> Well, good for you, and I'm glad that you know that. That's fantastic. You're a wonderful man. Round of applause for men, huh? You guys need it, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, men are generally, though, not supportive. Were you, like, a little hesitant when she... Not at all. Not at all! Wow, must be an ass man. Very stressed out guy. Nice. <sighs> yeah, no, but guys generally... I told a lot of my guy friends I was having surgery done beforehand, and they were like, oh, why would you do that to me? Yeah, and I was like, dude, if you had a 10 pound dick, you would cut half of it off too. Like, let's be real. Would you have cut off a 10 pound dick? No? So you are 100% in support of your wife getting a breast reduction, but if you had a 10 pound dick, you know how much 10 pounds is? You would keep it? You would also have back problems, you understand? You would keep it. You wouldn't be able to walk, sir. Like, do you know what ten, what if it was 10 pounds but it was the size of a quarter? Then what? What would you do? Like, a Chipotle burrito is huge, and that's not 10 pounds. So just imagine like 25 Chipotle burritos, then that's right here. You would feel like the man? Suddenly you lost for words. So hard. Would anybody cut it off? Would you cut it off? Cut what off? Where has he been for the last 10 minutes? at the end of the night.